Hello, hi, welcome to my face. I hope you're going to enjoy it because it's going to be here for the next however many minutes this video turns out to be. So before we even begin, I know what the first thing you're thinking is. Laura, how did you do your makeup? It looks so nice. You can look in the description box down below and see a link to my other channel, The Makeup Machine, where you can see how I put together this Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm look. So if you're interested in that, pop over to there and watch that. If makeup's not your thing, stay here and together we're going to take a morality quiz. Right, so my logic was, it's nearly Easter, Easter is a time for... Well, I'm not really sure what Easter is a time for, but it's like a Christian religious holiday and it's where people are thankful. I'm not trying to offend anyone's religion, it's just I haven't been in an RE lesson for about 30 years. So I've forgotten everything I was forced to learn about Christianity and all religion and everything. So as far as I know, Easter is the time that Jesus rose from the dead and left the tomb. And that's why we have Easter eggs, I think, because it symbolises the rebirth and the new life started, like with Jesus don't really know where the bunny comes into it or like the idea of the the lambs or I might be missing something if you know better than me feel free to let me know in the comments because it's always interesting to hearing what you guys have to say but no Easter is a time for kindness for giving for new starts being a good person being a better person and that's why you do Lent you give up something in the hopes that you know it will show you how you take things for granted and how you're luckier than other people because you have more than they may have so that's where I thought we could do a morality quiz in time for Easter and figure out whether or not we're good people so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a link to the quiz down in the description box so if you want you can click that link now and you can play along with me and together we can find out just how much of a dirt bag you and I are. Mhm. Mm Fun. And I'm going to answer all these as honestly as I possibly, possibly can. Yay! Question number one. You're in a lifeboat with eight other people. The lifeboat can't hold everyone and will capsize soon. The only way to avoid killing everyone is to throw one person off the boat. One of the lifeboat passengers is a grievously injured woman who is certain to die soon, but she is alert and fully aware of the issue at hand. Could you throw that passenger overboard knowing that you would be saving the other people and that the person being thrown off would know what you were doing? I mean, this is just bringing back all kinds of Titanic flashbacks. So the options are, I wouldn't be able to throw her off, but I wouldn't mind if another passenger did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would not be able to throw the injured woman off the boat, period. Or I would be able to throw the injured woman off the boat. Okay, I feel like I'm going to pick, I wouldn't be able to throw her off the boat, but I wouldn't mind if someone else did, because my logic is, she's going to die anyway. So we may as well hoy her off the boat, and then we can all live. I mean, that's the whole point of life, isn't it? Is to to live. I don't know why I'm trying to put reason to me murdering someone, but I want to live. So she's getting off that lifeboat. I've seen Titanic. I know how it ends. Oh, okay. In another version of the lifeboat dilemma, the person who will be thrown off is your best friend. Oh. <laughs> Just imagine my best friend in this situation. <laughs> she wouldn't do well. Okay. Your friend was injured due to a recent car crash which resulted in brain damage. She isn't fully aware of everything going on. Would you be able to throw your best friend off the lifeboat knowing it would save the others? I wouldn't be able to throw my best friend overboard, but I also would not allow another passenger to throw her off. I could throw my best friend off to save the others. Or... I couldn't throw my best friend overboard. So either I can throw her off, I can't throw her off, or me and no one else can throw her off. I can't throw my best friend off the lifeboat because one, she's my best friend, and 
two, she would come back and haunt me and never let me forget it, ever. Right, so I would not throw her off and neither would anyone else, great. Number three, it's wartime and you are hiding in a basement with a group of random strangers. Enemy soldiers surround the premises and would be drawn to any strange sound. If you are found, you would be killed immediately. A baby starts to cry loudly. Oh, no, 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 no. The only way to quiet the baby is smothering it to death, saving the lives of everyone else with you. The baby's parents are unknown and will not be present. So there will be no penalty for killing the baby. Okay. Could you be the one to smother the baby? One, I could not smother the baby. Two, I could smother the baby. Three, I could not smother the baby, but I would not be opposed to someone else smothering it. Okay, no, 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 no. If I smothered a baby, I would not want to live afterwards because I'd done something so terrible. So we may as well let the baby cry and the rest of us die. Because I couldn't live with myself if I smothered a baby to save myself. So no, no one is smothering the baby. No, uh, 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 uh. no one's smothering that baby today. In another version of the baby dilemma, it isn't a random baby. Its parents are present in the basement. Since they are, there will be a penalty. But if the screaming baby isn't quieted, everyone will die, including the baby. Could you smother the baby while its parents are watching? I would be opposed to anyone else smothering the baby. I could not smother the baby. I could smother the baby. If I didn't, the baby would be killed anyway along with anyone else. No! Why is this quiz trying to trick me into smothering a baby? No! I could not smother a baby and no one else is going to either. Oh, there's a third one. <sighs> In a third version of the screaming baby scenario, it is your own baby who would have to be killed. I did not realise this video was going to get so dark so quickly. I thought it was going to be, you know, like, oh, if you stole one of your friend's chips while they weren't looking, and then they ask you, did you eat one of my chips? Do you lie to them or not? I thought it was going to be, like, easy questions. But no. They went straight to the smothering babies. Could you be the one to smother your own child to save everyone else? I would be fine if someone else smothered my baby. I could never smother my own child. I could smother my baby to save the others. No, 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 no one, no one is smothering a baby. And I hope that is the last time I have to say that. An out of control train is barreling down a track towards five unsuspecting people. The train will surely kill them all. You, the conductor of the train, could throw a switch diverting the train to a siding but an equally unsuspecting man is there and would be killed. Could you throw the switch, killing one person but saving five people? I could easily throw the switch. I would throw the switch, but I'd also try and warn the unsuspecting man who would be killed. Three, I could not throw the switch. I feel like this is obvious. I feel like you have to save the five people, but there is the option to warn him. So that's obviously the one you're gonna pick. You throw the switch, but you try and warn the man. In another version of the train dilemma, you and a man are on a sidewalk next to the tracks. You need to push the man in front of the tracks to save the five unsuspecting people. So it's just straight murder now. It's, it's, it's murder. Okay. I could push the man onto the track to save the five others. I could not push the man onto the tracks. I could try but I wouldn't be able to push him in time. I don't see why that option is there. That's that's questioning your ability to murder more than your morality, but okay. No, um, okay, could I push him to save the others? Do I wanna murder this man or not? I don't know. No, I'm not gonna push him in front of the train because in the other one, there was the option to warn him and in this one, there's nothing like that, you are just straight murdering him, so no, 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 I can't push the man onto the tracks. Uh, 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 uh. You and your family are on vacation. Your daughter is seven and best friends with your niece, also seven. Your families are very close and your daughter asks if your niece can come on you with holiday. You agree. When you arrive at the destination, the girls ask if they can go for a swim. You tell them to wait until you are unpacked, but say they can play on the beach in the meanwhile. A few minutes later, you hear screams from the beach. 
well, that's what you get for not doing as you're told. You run down and see that the girls didn't listen and went for a swim. They are caught in a riptide and are struggling. You see that your niece is struggling more than your daughter since she isn't a good swimmer. You can save both, but only one at a time. Would you save your niece first knowing she would probably drown while your daughter has a greater chance of being able to hold on until you come back? Or would you save your daughter first knowing your niece will likely drown? Well, I don't think I could do that with two people. I think I'd end up drowning as well, so I'm not going to try and save both of them. I would save my niece first. If she is a bad swimmer and my daughter is a good swimmer, I'm going to save my niece first. In another version of the swimming dilemma, it isn't your daughter and niece, but two random strangers. When you get close enough, you realise they were your childhood best friends. I had no friends as a child. They have been with you through everything and you don't want to see either die. One of your friends is struggling more than the other. They would have a smaller chance of survival. Which friend would you save first? I wouldn't save either because I might get stuck as well. I would save the other first. I would save my friend who is struggling more. Okay, again, I'm going to save my friend that is struggling more. So my two best friends in this world are Natalie and Amy. And they are both good swimmers. However, Natalie is shorter, so I feel like she would drown first. So I would save Natalie first, the one that I think is more likely to drown, and then come back for Amy, who I think has a better chance of survival. So yes, I'm going to save the one that is struggling more. You are a judge presiding over the trial of an alleged bank robber whom you know is innocent. However, something terrible in your life has happened. The enemies of the robber have kidnapped your nine-year-old daughter and are holding her hostage. Okay, I sound like a terrible parent. My daughter is almost drowned and now she has been kidnapped. I shouldn't have children. <laughs> you don't know where she is. The police have tried to locate her, but to no avail. The kidnappers have left you an anonymous note saying that if you convict the robber, they will set your daughter free. You fear the kidnappers could be abusing or even torturing your child. What would you do? I wouldn't convict the robber, but I would give the note to the police to see if this help finds my daughter. I wouldn't convict the robber because he is innocent. I would convict the bank robber to get my daughter back. I feel like if I convicted the robber, not only is that bad because he's an innocent man, but also the people that have stolen my daughter could just keep using that for leverage, so that might not get me anywhere. I think I would not convict the robber because he didn't do anything, and I don't think the kidnappers are going to work with me on this. So I think I would not convict the robber, but I would give the note to the police and see if this helps my daughter. Oh, that was the last question. That was quick. Okay, let's see. Test the results. For 40%, you are. You would not be able to harm others, even though it would be beneficial to your personality. Oh, okay. No, that, I, okay, I thought that was going to be bad. These choices are hard, especially when made on the spur of the moment. 57% of participants have this profile. Oh, and then it goes on to say your score is not clear. You could also get this result. For 40%, you are in the middle and try to find a solution that causes the least harm. <laughs> and then it ends with, we all do our best. <laughs> oh my god. So that was a complete waste of time because the results are either... I mean, you might be a good person, but on the other hand, you might not be a good person. That's like when those dating ads for like Elite and all those kind of things on the telly, they're like, sign up now if you're single. Or even if you're not. Like, so basically everyone. <laughs> you want everyone to sign up. So that's what this quiz is. Basically, I am both a good person and a bad person. I am in the middle. I'm on the fence. A true Libra. I can't make a decision. So there you have it. That is my morality quiz. I am a half and half good bad person. So if Hitler and Jesus had a baby, that's me. Oh, that was terrible. Hitler's terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, well, thank you for watching. I don't know why you do, but I really appreciate it when you do stick around to the end. So thanks very much. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can also hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you want to chat or if you want to tell me something about Easter that I don't know. I love hearing from you guys. It makes my day. 
Also, you can hit the notification bell so that you know every time that I upload. And I guess that's it. I hope you have a nice Easter if you celebrate it. If you don't celebrate it, I hope you have a nice Sunday. And that's it, I guess. And also, let me know what you got in the morality quiz. It'd be interesting to know if you got something different or if we all got the same Hitler Jesus mashup as a result. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you and have a nice weekend. Love you. Bye.